Thank, Thank you, you, Kimberly. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, as Melissa made mention, my name is Kimberly Smith. I'm just going to go around and just say your name, just to let you know I see you and you're visible to me. So Dominic, um, Aliyah, Lauren, Adrian, and Hanafa. Hanifa? Hanaja. Hanaja. Good morning. Good morning. So today's presentation is about um, television, um, production, and um, all things entertainment. So a little bit about um, what I do or the company I work for, because that's what we're going to cover today. The company I work for is a company called Sirius XM. So just looking from the room, I just want to ask the room, and we could talk through chat. You can raise your hand because this is a small enough group. How many of you have been in a car in the last three months, in any type of car, whether Uber, whether Lyft, whether your family car? Okay. We, Dominic, thank you, Dominic. We dominate that field, meaning if you've been in any vehicle in the last, that's more than 10 years old, you might see a Sirius XM emblem or you have access to Sirius XM radio. Now, I'm going to kind of tell you the history of radio and how it came to be. Long, long, long time ago, believe it or not, there were radio towers all throughout the United States. And they were these dynamic towers. And what they would do is they would get signals. And that's the way you would listen to like WDAS or Power 99, two radio stations. What Sirius XM does is they get the satellite streaming from out of, um, and today is synonymous too, because it's a special day about the space, but the satellite waves come in control. That way you can get more stations in one location. So with satellite radio, you're able to listen to radio from California, Arizona, Hawaii, and Sirius XM has monopolized that and it's always in your car. Today, what's symbolic about today is that um, Amazon just went into space. Jeff Bezos and his brother and one woman um, who was 82 years old and then an 18-year-old boy from Amsterdam, they just launched into space. So when we think of space, we think of something that's not tangible, but this is exactly talking about the satellite waves that go and orbit our Earth. So Gave you a little like science lesson on satellite, but now we're going to get into what Sirius XM does. And I am going to share my presentation just to talk about, you know, what it is Sirius XM does. Can you guys see my screen? You know what, Kimberly, let me, uh, let me actually, I've got to make you a presenter, a, pre a co presenter. So let me click on more. Um, it actually doesn't allow me to give you any more accessibility other than, yeah. No, I, I, I'm the co-host. Are you able to oh, see oh, it here now? We go. Okay. There, perfect. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to do presenter mode. I think if I do presenter mode, let me try to do. Are you able to see full screen now? Full screen is perfect. Yes. Okay. And it's very bright and colorful. Love it. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just take a quick look. I can't see you because I'm showing in full screen. But um, if we just look at this one particular slide, it touches everything as far as the entertainment space that SiriusXM covers. So if you look at your left, you know, you have Shock Jock, Howard Stern, but then you go over to your right, you have Trevor Noah, who is synonymous with television. And then you have Hoda, who's in the morning for news. You have Andy Cohen, who's synonymous with television. But these individuals and LL Cool J, who is a rap star slash actor, all have stations on Sirius XM platform. So we're not, we're not just doing music like a DAS or a Power 99. We do talk, we do podcasts. And one of the unique partnerships we do have right now is Pandora. If you look to the top right of your corner on my screen, you see the SXM that stands for Sirius XM. And then the P stands for Pandora. 
Now, Pandora is your generation, solely your generation, because that is streaming. And streaming is a lot different than what um, satellite is. Streaming allows you the accessibility to listen to music on your phone, in your house, and in your car, but you're streaming the music through a Wi-Fi signal versus satellite. So we knew that we had to embark on a broader space to capture our younger audience. If you look at the bottom, we are targeting 150 million listeners across the platforms in all the United States. So that means, doesn't necessarily mean 150 million cars where you can now listen at home. Maybe you're listening through Pandora, maybe you're listening through um, uh, your car. So you have a self-pay subscriber, which is what you do as far as a Netflix subscription or a Apple Pay subscription. You pay your subscription monthly, um, annually um, to be part of this network. And then you have trials. Um, if any of your parents, grandparents, friends have cars, we are constantly offering trials to try our service. You get to try it for three months for free. You get to listen anytime you want. You know, those are all the spills. So this just gives you a really big, broad snapshot of the type of industry we are. Um, let me try to move this banner. Okay. So what happened? If, and, and then if this kind of gives you the timeline. I know a lot of you were not born in 88, but that's when we were founded. And then satellites launched. We talked about how you get that music coming into um, your home versus doing radio towers. That was in the 90s. Um, Pandora, which is more your generation, was founded in, in 2000, which is the streaming access. And you're able to create your own music content and people are able to upload what they want to listen to. We started at 1 million listeners in 2003. And then all the other stuff just talks about our partnerships, right? Um, when you think of entertainment, um, let's look at Comcast. Comcast is based in Philadelphia. It is headquartered in Philadelphia, but I bet a lot of you didn't know that Comcast is also a parent company to NBC Universal. So NBC Universal, you think of NBC, you think of any type of peacock programming that you see on television. So there are always arms to an industry of entertainment. So when you're looking at careers in entertainment, you can go a bunch of different pathways. Um, this tells you more about the business scope of um, SiriusXM, how we have our subscribers, our connected vehicle service is actually being in the car. Um, Pandora is another big acquisition. Acquisition means that now we own that company and they are a partner. However, Pandora is still keeping their name. So um, just very similar to Comcast and NBC Universal, they're entities, but they are owned by Comcast. Um, Stitcher is another um, company that we just um, acquired as well as Simplecast. And these are forms of podcasts. So we've acquired companies that do things different than what we do and kind of are trying to reach a broader audience. Um, just to tell you a little bit, our average customer is age 35 and up. Why? Because we found and we've done our research that a lot of our young drivers and young consumers stream music. They're not really in the idea of listening to what's been prescribed for them. Meaning on satellite radio, we play what we think you want to hear versus you creating your own content, which is why we, you know, acquire Pandora. So now you have that that option. Any questions about any of these companies um, that you see listed here that are associated and aligned with SiriusXM? Okay, go to the next slide. So this just talks about, you know, our channels, about how we advertise. Um, we talked about the podcast. Um, how we are installed in all of the new vehicles across the United States. We are not global, meaning we do not have Sirius XM in Mexico. We do not have Sirius XM in, we do have Sirius XM in Canada, but not in Mexico or in Europe or Asia. So currently we're just a US based company. Uh, we do have Sirius XM Aviation and Marine, meaning for all of you that have boats and helicopters, you're able to listen to Sirius XM there. 
and stay connected. And then the video piece is part of partnership with Pandora that we've just touched. Um, 360L is a type of listening platform um, similar to the number of vehicles that you have. And then there were six brands, as you saw on the screen before, under the Sirius XM umbrella. So this just talks about us as a whole. This gives the breakdown for the companies that we've acquired. As I said before, Pandora is more podcast, personalizing your listening experience. You get 60 million listeners. So those all came under our umbrella. Um, so AdWiz and Simplecast, once again, another type of um, podcast. And it's making it easier for people to create content and go in and um, manage their own platform. So that's what AdWiz and Simplecast does. For Stitcher, they're more of the production and distribution of um, podcasts. So have you ever watched a podcast and then an ad pops up or someone comes in and says, you know, you might be interested in something? Stitcher is aligned with that or how you bring in revenue um, to align with your comp with, within your um, content. So Stitcher works directly in link with how you build your um, brand through your podcast and you get sponsorship. And then through the connected vehicle, once again, one of our biggest um, providers for Sirius XM is Chrysler, Nissan, Toyota, and Honda. Um, there are a lot of benefits working in entertainment. Um, the partnerships that people and companies want to have with you are great. Um, traffic and travel. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as a company perk. But what I just wanted to do these, these first couple of slides was go over the overall you know, experience at Sirius XM. When you are looking for a career, when you're looking for a job, you want to know what partnerships are there on the ground up. So that way there might be an opportunity for you to advance in different departments or experience different types of career tracks. So we talked about this. Um, there are no commercials. Um, as far as the comedy stations, we have Kevin Hart. Um, as far as entertainment, this just talks about everything we just mentioned already, all the different types of personalities and entertainment we have at SiriusXM. So this is where the good part comes in. And I know a lot of you are not in college as of yet. Um, some of you might be interested in pursuing college in the next year or two, or just, you know, trying to figure out what you want to do in the area of entertainment. Sirius XM offers two 10-week um, internship sessions. Um, for our summer internship that we just started, we've reached out to colleges and universities. We've done advertisement on our radio, on the satellite radio station, of course, but you also want to get involved with LinkedIn or Indeed and do some research about internship opportunities. Um, we support all areas of business. So if your area of business is you want to be a podcast person, there are internships through one of our podcast groups. If you're interested in doing live radio talk or doing research for news, I know Joe Madison is a show that has um, interns or coats on their talk radio and politician areas. Um, if you want to get paid, you have the option of doing both as far as we pay our interns a base salary, as well as give them college credit. So depending on the school, depending on your major, you would negotiate that during your hiring. And then the tech internships are the people, and this is just an internal joke, I call the tech people that work at our company, the Keebler elves, because they make things happen overnight. They create all these great little nuances for you to get in there and listen to radio and it has no glitches. You're able to hear all the content. So they are the ones doing code. They are doing um, development. They're doing all of our uploads, um, especially now that we are COVID driven. Um, at least 60% of our radio broadcast during COVID has been removed. So what that meant was a lot of the stuff that you hear on SiriusXM and Pandora, we had to pivot to at-home environments. So our tech teams actually went to our different um, owners of those particular shows and set up podcast environments for them to actually broadcast from home. 
And then non-tech internships would be something like someone working in HR, but you're still aligned with the entertainment company, right? You're working in human research sources or facilities management. You're managing one of our several buildings. Sirius XM has offices in New York, DC, Atlanta, California, and Texas, and Detroit right now. And I said right now because as a result of COVID, several of our offices have been consolidated and we've closed several locations. Um, one of the unique things, and I'm not, I didn't even get a chance to talk about my role, which I will in a minute, but this just talks about the opportunities that you need to keep on the forefront as you're going into your college and your university years as an option or opportunity that is available to you. So we talked about tech and what I said about tech, remember engineering, front end and back end, all of those nuances with the tech stuff, data science, what is data science? So remember all those numbers I quoted about users, about um, how we stream, about how we acquire those different companies, that is data science. And one of the things that our data scientists do on our behalf at SiriusXM is they crunch numbers on every aspect of our business. How many subscribers do we have? How many people drive Hondas? How many people have new vehicles? How many people have used vehicles but want to transport their SiriusXM into those used vehicles? So then we look at the business component for that of building the business for my data science. How many people purchased our product for six months versus a year? How many of our customers purchased a trial? Data scientists, they run all of those numbers and then we report at an executive level to kind of tell where we need to align or where we need to drive our biggest targets for the upcoming year. Um, product and analytics and product design, it talks about how the radio is functioned in your car or how you listen to it at home. As you saw the partnerships before with Google, we have, we have it with Alexa through Amazon and you're able to listen at home. I personally don't have those listening devices, but you can listen on those streaming um, apps as well and have those devices at home. But that's about how our product is presented. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And it talks about the user experience. When you get in the car, Dominic, are you able to see the Sirius XM button? And Aaliyah, when you're driving, are you able to see the channel that you're listening to to see, you know, what song was just played just in case you want to sync it, but you don't want to have an accident? Product analytics, product design, product management, it talks about exactly how the look and feel of the um, car. And then technical program management talks about the day-to-day -day of the technical aspect of what we deliver with our product, what it comes with. Um, the perks, the price points, why we price it at a certain amount for a certain time of the year, why we do the different promotions. And this goes into the non-technical space. So marketing, um, if you've never, for example, some of the podcasts or YouTube channels you've listened to, you might not have ever seen a commercial for Sirius XM because it's not marketed to the demographics or whatever you're listening to. Marketing is a key point of interest for um, SiriusXM because we want to be as broad and we want to reach as many customers as possible. And then client services, that is with our vendors. We, we partner with a bunch of different companies, not the ones that we acquire, but those that help us do our deliverables from our tech support to our call centers. Um, they really drive the messaging of calling and talking to the customer. So those are our client services and you are our client as our customer. Accounting, self-explanatory, number cruncher, every company has it, every company needs a CPA, every company needs an internal audit. Accounting talks about how the money comes in, where the money goes, why the money spent a certain way, how do you give bonuses for the year? Anything fiscal and financial is accounting and finance combined, so I touched two. Um, IT talks about our web space, how we design decks that you're seeing right now. What do you see when you go to our website? And then that's partnering with creative design to make it user friendly and more accessible to you. And then the final piece is about the programming. And once again, I said the age group demographic that we're targeting or we're, we're most aligned with is 35 and up. 
you know, maybe you guys would like to see a little Uzi Burt channel or you would like to see little baby or a little somebody. It's always a little that y'all want to see, but um, that's about programming. And then that's how we kind of reach out um, and develop more tangible programming. Uh, one of our most recent channels that we just launched is a Drake channel. So Drake now has a whole channel on Sirius XM. So we're trying to market and reach to a younger demographic continuously reinventing ourselves. So like I said, we have LL Cool J, Kevin Hart for the comics. We have all of the sports channels from golf to badminton that you can think of. Um, but the programming piece is kind of talking to what's hot. Another thing about programming that I do like is that we do featured stations for a certain time period. And this goes off the recommendation of you, the customer. Um, one of the things that they're doing right now in celebration of Prince, um, they relaunched the Prince channel. So for 24 hours a day, you listen to Prince. Um, that's one of my favorites, channel 333, if you're interested. But we do relaunch of a lot of different entertainers. We have a Beatles station. Uh, we have the Who, the Grateful Dead. So we kind of do just a whole full station of that type of programming. So as far as career aspirations, this is the snapshot. If you want to take a picture of it, take a screenshot, but this kind of will align you on what your interest lies as far as being in television, film, production, and where you can go from a non-entertainment space, right? Meaning if you're not in front of the camera, acting, singing, dancing, what can you do as far as entertainment? And this covers at least 12 bullet points of great career interest that give you the perks of working in entertainment. Okay, and for our internships, most are for juniors and seniors in your, um, your college years. Um, graduate students, PhDs, those data scientists we need, and up to one year post-college grads. This is just a picture of our, this is the breakdown of the time session of what it was this year. So just to let you guys know. And then this is the pathway of how it goes. The university recruiting team, unfortunately, due to COVID, they weren't boots on the ground. They weren't on the college campuses. But once again, go to Indeed, go to LinkedIn, go to all of those job boards and just look at people that are at companies and you'll see the different postings of activities that you can just jump in. It doesn't hurt to join a Zoom call for, some, for a company that you're interested in. It, you can always sign yourself up and hear information about that company and research now. It's never too late or too early to begin your research. Um, and then you'll be partnered with a manager and a mentor, and then you'll be access to all the SiriusXM employees. You get all the perks of working at SiriusXM as an employee. You get your internship, you get a free subscription, and then you're part of our network. And once you're part of our network, you're, you're there for life. Um, you also get to you know, you always have music. That's one of the things I did like about working in the office. No matter where you went in the building, the bathroom and the common areas, there's music flowing of live Sirius XM radio stations. So it's always that fun, upbeat environment. Um, and then you can follow us, like I said, Instagram, Twitter, of course, and LinkedIn. Um, this gives the breakdown of what we did for our internships for our college students. And then this tells you the offices that uh, we're located in as far as internships. I mentioned California, I mentioned Dallas, Atlanta, DC, and New York. Now, the thing that's unique about my role is that I am based in Philadelphia. So let's look at the map of where Philadelphia is. However, my desk, my team, and my office was in Washington, D.C. And then this is just going to give you some scope of how you think about work um, when you're going out to work. I would commute to D.C. two to three times a week, or I would commute to New York. Now, you're thinking, wow, a commute. But if, you, if you've ever been in the subway or the L, I could be on the train from Amtrak from Philly to D.C. in an hour and 40 minutes to D.C. and then an hour and 15 minutes to New York. Um, your company, they pay for me to travel to work. 
on some instances, and then I would travel throughout the U.S. visiting different vendor sites. So think creatively. Don't think, oh, I'm in Philly. How am I going to get to New York? Or how am I going to get to DC? Um, you're young. You're able to do it. Trust me. Um, but that, those were the opportunities live for my career track. So um, that's where my office was. Currently, don't have an office. I am not going back into the office um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, maybe some of your friends and parents and um, uh, sponsors here at JFC as have also talked about it, how most people are moving remote. <clears throat> we don't have an office to go to because of the risk of COVID. And what we found is that we downsized. As you can see, the Detroit office is not listed on this map. We had an office in Detroit. Um, we've had four offices in New York. We're down now to two offices. We had two offices in DC. We're down to one office. So we found that we were being really productive working from home and we've downsized. So think outside the box, don't think of location, go through all interview processes, hear people, you know, when they talk to you during the interview process, um, think outside of the scope or realm of your comfort level. Um, I encourage all of you to do research on companies that, you know, inspire you, get behind a brand that you like. It's nothing worse than working for a company and you don't believe in the brand. I do believe in Sirius XM. I am a listener. I was a listener. I enjoy the work that I do, uh, which is compliance focused. And then I, I, I believe I'm doing another workshop to talk about resume writing. And then we'll kind of dig into how you craft and build your resume. Any final questions? Let me get out of here. Let me let me stop sharing so I can see you guys' faces. How was that? I couldn't see your faces. Lauren, I know you probably got your hand on your face like, girl, you're going to talk me to death, right? I'm not, I'm going to butcher it. I'm sorry. Miss White, how was it? Any questions? Aaliyah, any questions? So can you just... And you don't have to speak if you don't feel comfortable, but I just wanted to know, because maybe I can work with, you know, Miss Adrian and Miss Melissa to provide feedback on your career tracks, because this is a small enough group. So, um, Lauren, can you just type in, if you're interested in this track, are you interested in doing entertainment or going into this space? And what type of, you know, career are you interested in pursuing? You want to type it in the chat or you want to speak? It's up to you guys. I didn't hear that, Lauren, but okay. Aaliyah, are you interested in entertainment or television or production in what space? Yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested in like, like the acting space. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you saw that we do have that through the radio programming, through podcasts, through Pandora. And remember, even though it's radio, you saw how we have all those other touches, right? And then, you know, look at Wendy Williams. She started on radio. Now she's on TV, right? Miss um, White, what space are you interested in? Ooh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, um, mainly, like I told Miss Adrian, the directing and acting type scene. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things about directing, too, is that a lot of our podcasts, if you've ever watched Howard Stern, it's actually on TV. So you do need people to come and direct. Um, a lot of things right now, Andy Cohen directing his show. So it's a combination of being a radio piece, but also showing television. So there's space there. And last but not least, I think we lost Dominic. They ju he jumped off. So it was, I, I'm past my time. I'm a minute over. Um, any questions you guys have for me after this, send them to Miss Melissa. I'll be more than happy to um, answer anything. And if, there anything, if there's anything in the area that we're hosting, I'll definitely reach out to your company. Well,